I'm Partha Mitra. I was born in India and I grew up there and I moved to the US um, to study physics. I was at Bell Laboratories um, and there I was in the theoretical physics group. I uh, switched from uh, physics to neuroscience. I started studying um, the brain and then I moved to Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory where I'm a professor now. I'm a theoretical physicist by training and then I have, have been doing experimental neuroscience. I've been doing data analysis so that already crosses bridges but um, <clears throat> let's say when I was growing up I was a uh, ardent leader, uh, reader of literature and I also wrote and you know, one understands about the human condition through art as well. Uh, um, whether that just enriches our lives, you know, uh, we are not really just scientists or um, artists, we are human beings and we need to have holistic lives. So if our work gets too compartmentalized, I feel that we suffer ourselves as persons um, and that's one reason why I like interdisciplinary work. Um, so I think it is both necessary for the science to take a broad perspective, you know, come at it from many different angles. And it's also important for our own well-being, you know, both mental and even physical to, to be interdisciplinary. Around about, I think, 2006, um, uh, I was, uh, as I was gearing up to map brain circuitry, I had conversation, in fact, with uh, Jim Watson, who said, uh, build a structural model of the, of the brain circuits. And I had this interesting experience of you know, going down to Chinatown, buying some parts, and trying to make for myself a little 3D model of you know, brain compartments and sort of connections between them at a very crude level. And it, you know, it, it, it was all very floppy and fell apart. I realized that I needed you know, kind of help from somebody who maybe makes this kind of thing for a living. And at the same time, uh, fortuitously, um, Frey Elgin, um, who is a, a sculptor, um, uh, he was visiting Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory giving a talk and somebody said, well, you should meet Partha. And uh, Frey arrived in my office and we had a very good interaction. And then we both were interested in actually making three-dimensional uh, sculptural, you know, somewhat abstract, but actually related to the biology, uh, models, literal models of, of brain circuitry. It was quite eye-opening for me how something which I had ignored as you know, trivial or, oh, I knew that, that's textbook knowledge, when we had to sort of actually make a physical object out of it, that required a little different kind of thinking. And um, the three-dimensional aspects were also interesting because you see pictures in textbooks which are two-dimensional and three-dimensional representations, which is what a sculpture, a sculpture has to do, um, has its own logic. It has to, first of all, stand up as a solid object. So it was really interesting, and, and I don't think it's a project that Frey or I would have done by ourselves. Like, I wouldn't have had the technical capabilities. Frey would not have had the neuroanatomical knowledge, so it was a true collaboration. Um, from my side, it was very rewarding and, I think, informative. Um, and from Frey's side, I think he found it <clears throat> uh, really interesting as well. So we've stayed friends and uh, have a long-standing dialogue. In my mind, there's no doubt that across disciplines, so including artists and scientists and technologists and people who are dealing with the more social, legal, business aspects, if they work together, that's um, you know, more powerful than having specialists only in one area. I was just thinking today about uh, Charles Darwin and I, Darwin was a wonderful writer. I don't know if you've read his autobiography. Um, there's a particular poignant passage in Darwin's, I think it's in the autobiography, I may be wrong, one of his books where he says that, uh, he talks about one of his regrets, that he did not read more poetry or literature towards the end of his life. And he says, my brain has turned into this fact-crunching machine. And he bemoans that, and he wants more of that. And of course, you know, Darwin was probably a lot more interdisciplinary than any of us are today. Um, and so I just think that, uh, you know, 
this enrichment of our lives, many people have told us, can happen through touching different aspects of human existence and behavior, um, interdisciplinary. And so I just think it is essential. I wish there was more of it.